performance from the South African opening batsman. The fourth longest innings ever played at Lords. Nine hours and 13 minutes he's been out there. Trying to bat two and a bit days uh, is quite tough in a test match, uh, especially against that England uh, quality attack. Um, the guys just stuck to it. I think uh, myself and Graham and Hashin, the first three got 100, which definitely helps. And we ended up saving that test match. Following on, myself and Smithy were getting ready to pad up and we had to face a couple of overs. And uh, I remember walking past uh, Boucher and him telling me, listen, I'll see you at the close. Bad light, we didn't face too many overs. Uh, came off next morning, padding up, getting ready to go out. Walked past Boucher and he said, I'll see you at lunch. Um, and then it sort of became a, a, a superstitious, uh, I think from his part, not from my part, fancy that. So he just kept on telling me, next day started again, I'll see you at lunch. And he saw me at lunch, next see you at tea, he saw me at tea, and eventually got out uh, between tea and uh, end of play. A couple of years ago, we got some friends, I'm in the pub, and they were talking about the cricket. And uh, the, one of the English guys said, yeah, that uh, Mackenzie, not knowing that uh, I, they knew me, uh, that Mackenzie, I'll never watch him play again. Uh, he bored the, the hell out of me at Lords. He blocked for uh, two days. The biggest challenge was probably not being in the side for about four years before that. I'd been out of the, the out of the international stage for quite a while, so I definitely didn't need any any motivation. Um, I don't think anyone needs motivation for your for, to play for your country, but I think being out of the the mix for four years, uh, you know, I was hungry as ever and uh, just wanted to do well for for my country. A lot of good team memories uh, for myself, especially in that balcony, having that South African flag there, um, and then obviously individually. Just looking on the board, it's nice to know that you contributed. Uh, you want to make runs here, you want to do well at Lords. A um, couple of things stand out for me. Uh, you know, my dad, my folks were over here for, for that test uh, series or test match. It was my dad's 60th. Uh, he's been a sort of pivotal role in my cricket career. Um, I remember they were standing um, or sitting uh, underneath the scoreboard there and uh, you know, every ball that went by, I saw my dad sort of, especially when I was creeping up to 100, quite nervous. So it was a good uh, 60th birthday present for him. And seeing my family here, my mom, uh, my brother and my sister, and obviously wife and uh, Luke at the time, my kid, it was, it was awesome.